Hey everyone, Gage and Will here, coming straight to you from the Press Start TV Lounge, sitting here with Coney. Coney, how's it been so far? Smash, Super Smash Con's been a set great success. This is our last day. What's it been like for you? Oh, Super Smash Con has been so excellent. I've been in this since like 2009, I think, almost, you know, six years, uh, more or less approximately. This is probably my favorite event. Wow. Uh, and, and that's a high honor, man. I've been to uh, Apex, I've been to uh, Big House, I've been all over the country. This think is the premier event, especially in years to come. I think it's only going to get bigger. That's awesome. Yeah, and this is only a first year of Super Smash Con, so who knows what's going to happen next. Yeah. Uh, so let's dive into some Smash Bros things, and I know you're huge on Twitter about this, but let's talk about Smash 4 Customs and Tournaments. Where do you stand? I've missed this somehow. I've All your tweets, all the Reddit posts, I've seemed to miss the big argument, so what are we looking at? So essentially, um, I'm kind of on the fence in custom moves, and I'll tell you why. So. There's this big debate in the whole hullabaloo about whether or not custom moves should be allowed. And the reason is most characters get uh, marginally better when custom moves are on, so they're able to adapt better to certain situations. However, there's some characters that have custom moves that are outrageous strong in 90% of circumstances. One of them is Donkey Kong. So Donkey Kong has an up B that is good for an approach, it's good as a defense option, it's good as a recovery, it's good for absolutely everything. So a lot of people think that it, it dumbs the gameplay down to just one move. Um, and really, that that's the whole of it. There are some people on one side saying that it makes the game silly, and there are people on the other side saying, well, you just got to learn to deal with it, because Donkey Kongs aren't winning any nationals or anything. Um, I mean, at EVO, most of the players in top eight didn't even use custom. So I, I, could, I could go on and on for hours, but the long and short of it is some people see them as a part of the game as natural as, you know, counter picks, as standard stages. But then some people see them as something like items, where it's um, something kind of devolving gameplay that introduces a lot more volatility and random elements. And that, that's at the whole of it, yeah. Gotcha. Well, it's good to hear that finally explained to me in terms I understood. I, don't, I mean, I don't even know where to start on all that. But, Will, do you have any questions right now? Yeah, sure. I mean, like you said, SmashCon's been great. It's been a great show. Uh, we were talking to Justin earlier, and he said he, he thinks that this is one of the, if not the largest showing for Mario 64. I'm sorry, Smash Bros. 64, which is amazing. But one of the biggest things that I, I saw was uh, the response in the Brawl tournament. Are we going to see a resurgence of Brawl competitively? You know, I, I think a lot of people thought that, and I think a lot of people said, oh, my God, this is so exciting. Brawl is so exciting. But then the Smash 4 finals happened and people said, okay, this is more exciting. Um, I know that a lot of people have been looking back at Brawl, maybe, maybe not with rose tinted glasses, kind of some nostalgia. Um, when Brawl died out, it was because there were a lot of frustrating elements in it, not just tripping, but uh, Meta Knight and Ice Climbers were extremely polarizing. They kind of dominated the game at the highest level of play. Um, I think a few years removed from that, everybody says, oh my God, this would be so great, let's go back to it. But I think that it's, uh, you know, the grass is always greener, right? If we started playing it, people would complain about it more. Um, I think that it was awesome to see Brawl get some shine. I love the fact that Super Smash Con is kind of showcasing each of the games equally. You don't see that at a lot of events, especially uh, Smash 64, like you mentioned. That's awesome. Um, but I think that we've, we've given, given Brawl its due time. Maybe this will be, like, the premier event for Brawl every single year. That'd be awesome. But in terms of, like, a resurgence, uh, other than some select regions, I really don't see it happening, unfortunately. Because like you said, the difference when uh, the Smash 4 tournament was going on, yeah. it was crazy. We talked to D1 Phenomenal E yesterday about the, the finals. What were you? What was your take on that? Oh, God, it was amazing. Uh, he was the, sitting front row. Did you see him jump up? TK oh, was dancing over here. Yeah, it was amazing. The, uh, the Wii U finals, and it's awesome to see uh, there was a kid, like yeah. seven or eight years old, just started freaking out. It was, yeah. break, it was break dancing. Yeah, it was awesome, but like that's what you love to see. That's what I love so much about this event is that it's fusing the casual and the competitive uh, environments together into one, and it's creating the next generation of Smash Brothers uh, competitively, uh, potentially. You can see that happening. And I mean, you got a seven or eight-year-old freaking out, everybody's laughing. You got 20-something-year-old men freaking out in the crowd as well. Yeah, the same thing. It's really awesome to see. And um, a lot of people have doubts about how Smash 4 would be in terms of like competitive excitement, in terms of uh, how how hype it could be. You know, we use that term a lot. But I mean, I, you saw it, man. Based off of what we saw, I, I, it look, it's looking pretty good. Oh yeah, absolutely. I think this game could sustain itself for years and years to come. We had a huge crowd. Everybody was super 
super invested. Everybody wanted to see Zero fall. That's the big story that's going on. I, I, we talked to him as well, and I, I asked him one of the questions was, were you feeling the nerves? Because he dropped two games. I don't think he's lost a game for, like, a long time. Uh, yeah, he, he drops games occasionally here and there. Um, I know at Evo he didn't drop a single game, and that was the, like, biggest tournament uh, we've had in a very long time. Uh, and then at this, I don't know if he dropped a uh, game before ECM. I heard he dropped one set before he got to finals. Okay, I he probably just dropped one game, I would one think. Game. He hasn't dropped a set. The reason I say that is because he hasn't dropped a set since, I think, February. And it was to a Luigi. And then he destroyed the Luigi when they played again in loser's bracket. So it wasn't even close. So since then, um, he's won 44 tournaments in a row. And it's just everybody's waiting to see him fall. But to answer your question, yeah, going to game five against ESAM, last stock, last hit. So tense. It could have gone either way. Yeah, it really could have. And I know ESAM was totally broken up about that. But he, he got second. He's an amazing player. So I'm, I'm sure he's not too shaken from that. Now, we haven't seen the finals yet today for Melee. I know you've been following the tournament. Is there anybody that you're looking to take this whole thing or what? My money's on Leffen. Uh, Leffen is kind of the bad boy of Smash right now. He just got picked up by Team Solo Mid, who's huge in usually more uh, MOBAs and uh, other competitive games, but they just stepped foot into Smash, and he was the guy they picked. Uh, in, in the world of Melee, there's this narrative about five gods, and they are the five people that nobody could touch. At the top of their game, they were at the top of the... Nobody could take a game off them. They all just beat each other. You're starting to see that crumble now. A lot of them are starting to fall, lose games to peop what people call demigods, and the biggest one, the biggest challenger of that is Leffen, who's this uh, really kind of disrespectful, trash-talking uh, Swede that He's like comes the Randy over. Moss of Super Smash Bros. Essentially, yeah, yeah, yeah. But he backs it up, and I mean, oh, that's yeah. the amazing thing. Um, I think considering the level of competition we see here, Mango was not able to enter. Uh, Hungrybox is not here. PBMD is not here. Mewtwo King has kind of been off and on his game. So my money's on Leffen to take it all. Yeah. Okay. okay. Gage, anything else? Well, you spoke about Mewtwo King. Did you see him play through Brawl and not drop any sets whatsoever? Did, was, is the King back? Do you Playing think? out of his mind, man. Oh, he loves Brawl. He, I, I think that what happened was he dropped out of Smash 4. Um, he's he's kind of in the same boat as me, honestly, with Smash 4, where he can't find a character to perfectly suit him. I remember we seeing him playing Diddy Kong early on Smash 4, but, yeah, but since yeah, yeah. then. Well, yeah, Diddy got nerfed. Uh, Diddy had this super powerful combo that got nerfed, and he got a few other nerfs after that uh, from Nintendo themselves. But he's having a character crisis, um, and until that fixes itself, I don't think he's going to enter Smash 4, so I think he put all of his time into Brawl. He did the Mewtwo King. This is what he does. He sits, he, he finds a good player, he puts it on 99 stock, and then they'll just play for hours. They'll just play forever, over and over. And you saw him drilling it out in the back there before Brawl Star out. So I have no, no surprise that he didn't drop a game. That's, some, that's a next level dedication. Uh, my last question about Smash 4, maybe through this whole interview. What character is feeling good right now for you? Because I've, I've seen you personally play. I've seen you on streams. What do you... What are your feelings of wor working right now, even though it's early for you? Sure. Uh, honestly, I'm uh, I'm feeling Wario a lot. I played Wario in Project M. I played him as a secondary in Brawl. I main DDD. Uh, but I played Wario as a secondary in Brawl to deal with Meta Knight. And Smash 4, he's very different. Uh, he's got really different mechanics, but I'm starting to like him. Um, Mario is another one that I'm kind of getting into. My problem is uh, it's less of a character thing and more that Smash four has very unique mechanics as it should it's a new game obviously um, but I have to get used to those first so I got to take time into that but I think Wario is my answer for now Roy too oh my god Roy is so much fun gotcha will any last questions no no just want to say Coney thanks so much for joining us man really Absolutely. appreciate it Coney want to give a shout out to your Twitch stream or anybody oh sure yeah um, I stream on Twitch you can follow me at twitch.tv slash ConeyZZ you can also subscribe that'd be dope uh, and also you can find me on Twitter twitter.com slash ConeyZZ also just type Coney and you'll find me everywhere. So awesome, Cody. Everywhere. Thanks for coming on. It's always a pleasure to talk to you. And for all things Super Smash Con and all tournament news from Super Smash Con, make sure you stick on Press Star TV.